Hey folks, welcome back to the key. Last episode you saw us put up these purlins on the barn with that towable 50 foot man lift. We've got the man lift back again from Thunder Bay and now we're going to be putting up the sheeting. We have some vapor barrier or house wrap to put up on the roof first and then we're going to put up some one inch sheeting. All of it been, that has been cut on the HM 122 Woodland Mill sawmill. We literally have less than 48 hours to use it so let's see if we can get it done. Stick around, let's find out. having fun in his toy. Here we go folks. The tarp is on, it's not fully fastened and the first board is going up as the sheeting. It's going to be a hectic couple of days again. So you can see Dad up on the roof already. He's actually on a, uh, a roof ladder that uh, he made. There's two of them. And the point of it is to spread his weight across the roof without him going in between the, the purlins. A little safer. He does have a harness on to keep him from uh, going too far too quickly, of course. But uh, that makes life a lot easier having the ability to stand without uh, worrying about where you're putting your feet. You can see that we're taking our time uh, fastening this first board. First board, of course, is the most critical. It sets your angle and your square for the whole roof to follow. So we're going to take our time. We're going to check the level and everything else and plumb with the, uh, the fascia board. Once we've got all that set, we're going to put her in place and get her going. Now that that first piece of sheeting is in place, Dad's ladder is going to get moved over to the other side. We'll put the other ladder up, but in the process of moving that first ladder, Dad's got to sit up on the peak here. A little bit precarious, but he'll be fine. The only thing we've got to watch is that we don't drop that ladder down through the sheeting, or not the sheeting, but the uh, house wrap. And we, we put a hole in it, then we've got to tape it. Opportunity for leaks later on. Anyways, let's see if we can get this done without making a mess. <laughs> Ah, guess not. Oh well, tuck tape, out it comes. We'll get this patched up and hope it doesn't leak. Okay, now that we've got Dad safely transferred over to the north side of the barn, he's going to put a couple uh, more uh, nails in there just to make sure we're good. Hey, easy Tex. One nail per side. We're not putting two in on each board. This helps prevent uh, the uh, splitting of the wood, uh, given that it's not all 100% dry yet. If you put two in, it gives an opportunity for the wood to work itself apart and split. Well, now we get the second ladder up and uh, that has the ability to move along without uh, jeopardizing himself for putting himself through the house wrap. All right, um, tuck tape. Tuck tape and I'll grab some boards. So you want to grab the tuck tape, love, and uh, I'll meet you down bottom? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, well, here we go, folks. Let's get these boards on. Time to get this show on the road. We started this job at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon because I had to be in Thunder Bay at 8 o'clock this morning to get the lift. So 8 o'clock this morning minus the 3 hours to get here plus lunch, that's noon. So starting to get the boards down at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah, I guess we're not doing too bad. But it definitely chews into our 48 hours that we have for this lift. Let's go. This towable man lift is awesome, but definitely not for those that are faint of heart when it comes to heights. Every time you move it, because it's a towable, it's lightweight. And every time it moves, it bounces. So if you don't like heights, not a good idea to get yourself a towable man lift. So I've been trimming the boards to 
at 12 foot 8, so we don't have to handle the 16 foots going up. Mark's been going up and down. And Dick's been attaching them. Not up tight to each other yet, but I have to hold the tarps down for the night for sure. We're pretty solid there. There we go. Got a nice solid roof on there. Looking good. Halfway done from bent one to bent two. More than halfway. Quite a board. <laughs> Mark's up there working in the dark, buttoning down the tarp for the night so it doesn't get blown off. The wind's not too strong right now, but better safe than sorry in this case so they don't have to redo the work they've already done today. <laughs> a nice light one for the last one. You're going to come down this way towards the garage a bit? Okay. Well, it's eight o'clock at night. It's pretty dark. They've got almost to the third bent done. Definitely between one and two and oh, probably halfway or a little more between two and three on the north side of the barn. Not bad for not being able to start until two o'clock this afternoon. A full day tomorrow so hopefully we'll finish off the rest but we've got to get some blades sharpened and probably saw a bit more wood trim off some of the wane on some of the boards we do have and uh, go from there it's gonna be a, a busy day tomorrow while I'm away at work <laughs> hey folks um, well it's a little dark out here now and I don't know if you can see any of that up there but we've got the tarps in place we've got about 16 feet of roof on the other side done it's uh i guess time to call it a night anyway we'll uh see you in the morning <laughs> well folks you want to see what else goes on on the roof here you're gonna to have to tune into the next episode to see what goes on anyways thanks for coming by thumbs up subscribe all that good stuff don't forget to hit that bell questions comments always please stay well stay safe and we'll see you next time on the roof here at Manistoki.